Hey everyone, Pi here, Sam. Welcome to my Kitbox PZY review of their new 124th Lamborghini Aventador GT Evo Roadster. So yes, I had to have a quick look out at the bench to see what this thing's called because it's got such a long name. Yes, uh, yeah. I had to look down and figure out what it was called. Called it Ferrari in the first take, so that was good, wasn't it? So, yeah, uh, I got sent this last week, uh, and I did start the review, and there was a few broken bits, some missing bits, and I thought, I can't review this. So I contacted them, and they sent me out some spares. Fair play, I got them in less than a week, or, yeah, about a week. Um, so all's good. I thought, right, let's have a look through the box, and let's see what we got. And this was supplied to me for free by Kitbox as a pre-release pre kind of review. I'm a little bit late, I'm a week late in review, unfortunately, but we're here today to go through the box. Now, like I say, damaged parts, yes, uh, got the replacements for some of them. Missing parts, got the replacements for those, uh, but broken part of the body, which I'm going to have to fix myself. So, I'll be completely honest in the review, I always am. So, I hope anyone watching can take the constructive criticism and understand where I'm coming from as a kit reviewer and a model builder as well. Anyway, let's dive into the box and let's have a look at what we've got. Right then, so Kitbox PZY's Lamborghini Aventador GT Evo SJV Roadster. So this is actually the second time I've reviewed this. Um, I got about five minutes into the review, found broken parts and thought, yep, I'm not going to review this. So contacted PZY and they swiftly sent out some spare parts for me. There is a part broken in here still. We'll talk about it in a minute. These are the broken parts. <clears throat> so we've got a broken seat with the chip out the side, as you can see there, and the headrest snapped off there as well. Um, the parts weren't in the bag. They, they weren't there. Um, so, yeah, not sure what's going on there, but anyway. And the front splitter has a chunk at the front. Here as well. So I've got replacement parts for those. There was also two missing parts in the kit as well, and they've been replaced too. So good customer service, if I'm honest. But being totally honest, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. These aren't cheap kits. Um, quality control should ensure the parts aren't missing and the things are packaged properly. And in my opinion, and the opinion of a few other people I spoke to. There is far too much stuff in this box for the size of it. It needs a bigger box because there is a lot of parts in this kit. Uh, and a lot of it resting on top of the main body, which has caused the other issue, which is the broken A-pillar. Which is a bit of an issue because I believe there's no more spare bodies. So if you've got a broken pillar, it looks like you're going to have to repair it. Which again, being totally honest, which I always am, um, I think it's inexcusable on a kit of this cost. Um, this isn't the first rodeo for PZY. They've built a few kits. The BMW F80 was one of the best kits I've built. Uh, the Porsche that came after, not so much. Um, the original Mercedes 190, their first kit, wasn't great. So they've kind of gone improve, backwards, yeah. But hey, that's what it is. I didn't pay for this kit. This is sent me as a review sample. And I'll always give my honest review. And that's what you're going to get today. It looks a pretty complicated kit. Um, so it is going to take some care and thought to build. But like I say, things like this. So this little piece of foam was placed in there like so. But sadly, I've still got a broken A-pillar. As you can see there. It is separated. Now, luckily, it looks like it will glue together pretty cleanly. But my point is, this shouldn't happen on a kit of this cost. Uh, I had a similar issue with my uh, USCP BMW M5, which uh, if you're a patron, you've seen the review of. And if you're not, you will soon. Where I had massive holes in the roof at the back. This is a replacement body that sent me. While it's better, there are still holes in the roof. And this is a £200 kit. So, yes, there are other companies out there that produce resin kits that are pretty flawless. Um, so they should be on equal quality in my opinion, but hey, it is what it is. So the review of that, if you're not a patron, you'll see soon. Um, but this is the kit we're doing today. So it is a very, very busy body on this one. 
Um, there's a lot to deal with shape-wise. Um, it is going to be a complex build. You have to really think about it, building it. Um, but like I said, it's a real shame about that broken pillar. Uh, what it needs is some strength support up here at the top. Um, yeah, well, thankfully, I think with some CA glue, a bit pretty easy fix. But as I say, my main point is it really shouldn't happen in the first place. And as I said, myself and a few others um, have all said that there's too much stuff in the box. I think that's the main issue with the broken pieces. Uh, with things like the seats, uh, they're broken. There's no parts in the kit, which would mean they've been packed uh after the fact that they were broken because if they were broken in the bower ox i'd have the bits in there to glue together which i would have done no problem at all and again that's a bit disappointing with a kit of this price so yeah a little bit yeah a bit of a shame but anyway other than broken a pillar uh the body looks pretty clean panel lines are good the surface detail is good it's cleaned up pretty well not too bad and yeah it's going to be an interesting build that is for sure while i'm here we've got the engine cover here uh which is super thin resin with a lot of resin flash to clean up as well but luckily with resin flash like this uh you can literally get like a cocktail stick in there like so and you'll get rid of 90 percent of it in seconds so not really an issue but this could have been done by the manufacturer first and you'd have a much more presentable product out of the box but hey it is what it is right so this fits on here now it's quite a tight fit but it does fit i think it's going to need a little bit of sanding on the edges to get it to fit a bit better because mine is tight at the front so a little bit off this here and there as well so but it does fit which is probably the most important thing it's a mental looking thing this it really is absolutely nuts so there's the body shell i'm gonna pop that there out of the way safe there's our engine cover as well like i say a few wisps of resin but like i say a quick whiz around with a cocktail stick which is my preferred weapon of choice on resin flash it literally it literally wipes away. So not too much drama there with that one. We've got the interior cockpit tub. Not a lot to write home about here. It's just a, a chunk of resin with a little bit of surface detail underneath. So we're all good there as well. Uh, we've got the rear diffuser. Again, very, very thin resin. You can see how thin it is here at the top. But a very nice piece of resin again. Nicely cast. Very nicely done. We've got some interior pieces. I think this is the head board yeah behind the back driver and passenger seat so a little bit of cleanup that'll be okay as well we've got door cards here two very shallow door cards but nice detail on those we've got the engine bay there as well just a nice big chunk of resin again um right then we'll go through the bags one by one now, there's quite a lot of parts in this so i'm not going to dilly dally around um they're all nicely mounted so parts like this are really easy to paint because they're mounted you can spray them all prime paint everything and then cut them off we've got some nice detail there they're the intakes aren't they i think looks like it throttle bodies wherever they are very nice detail on those we've got the top of the engine where they connect the inlet manifold is it Got some more surface detail here. They can pretend to know where all the parts are. Whole host of really nicely cast parts here. Beautifully done. I think the exhaust and what have you. Got some long pieces. Like I say, no can pretend to know these are a roll cage or part of a roll cage. More thin bits. We have got what looks like a don't know part of the engine bay is it it's hard to tell it really is there's also no instructions with my kit because it's pre-production so we have to look at the instructions online as well so there's that more engine detail 
more bits, lots of little bits and bobs. I'm not even going to pretend to know what they are, but they're all here. And we've looked at all those. So the resin is very, very high quality. It's certainly on par with Alpha models. Um, it's just the packaging, these little bits of side. Um, I think li it literally is, there's too much in the box and it's just hitting each other and that's where the break has come from. It's just disappointing for me and a little bit off-putting to get broken bits in the box and the bits aren't in there. Because as I say, that means it was broken before it was packed. Right, in here we've got a couple of parts, thin bits, I don't even know what they are, but one's off the power plug. Not the end of the world, I don't know what they are, but we'll figure out that out in a minute. Uh, we've got a centre console. We got a another broken piece and something else. And as always with resin, if you find little bits in the bag, keep them in the bag because you never know if it's a missing piece. Oh, so you know what that looks like the side of that seat, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure that could be the side of that seat. But I might be wrong. Where's my tweezers? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Like I say, second time doing this review, so. It could well be the side of that seat. I think it is. Yep, it is as well. So there we go. There's one seat fixed. Yep, that's the side of the seat. So that's good. At least one of them's in there. That is good. We'll pop that in there with that seat, though, so I remember when I come to fit it. So there's one problem solved. Like I say, if you find any of these little bits... Pop them in the bag because you just never know later down the line if you're going to come to cross apart and be like, oh, that's broken. I'm like, oh, I had that piece. Dashboard. Obviously, they're missing all the main detail parts because they're all separate. But nice dashboard on this. It's a great looking car. It's like super aggressive looking. It is an absolutely mental looking machine. It really is. But yeah, I think we'll keep that out of there. It's too big a piece. Oh, we just have a hole in this bag. We do. We've got a hole in the bag, Eliza. Luckily, I've got spare bags because I build that many of these resin kits. I'm like a drug dealer. I have dozens and dozens of these Ziploc bags everywhere. I've ever get raided by the police and probably in a bit of suspicion for a while while they're searching. Well, if they find things again. Anyway, moving on. So our bag can go in the bin. Next up, uh, we've got this front splitter. This is one of the broken parts. Again, very delicate part. You to be really careful with these. But a nice part nonetheless. Thankfully not broken. So that is always good. Now, there's two sets of wheels in this thing. So it's like a split rim type and your typical Ferrari. Now, the wheels are actually nice and clean. A few wisps of resin. Oh, God, as he chucks it. Yeah, a few wisps of resin in there. Other than that, I quite like these ones myself. I think they're my favourite ones. Um, we've got the brakes. Oh, they're thick, aren't they? Thick, uh, very thick discs. I did say disc. There's the rears as well. We've got a bar thing. Okay, that looks like an axle, doesn't it? That is an axle as well. Okay. Hmm, you know what? I kind of like the way that works. That's a much more positive way of fitting that. Hmm. Uh, brake calipers. Very small calipers on this thing. For the size of the car and the power it probably puts out. Uh, center locks for the wheels. Again, nice bit of detail on those. And what look like the handbrake calipers there as well. So a whole nice range of uh, bits in there. I'm surprised about how small those calipers are. They're absolutely tiny. I thought in a car like this they'd be massive. Hmm. Let's have a look at that and see if it's like that on the real thing. Right. Oh, the bar. Oh, we'll put that there. The next set of wheels. So I much prefer those other ones. I think these are nice. Don't get me wrong. They're almost like a like a split rim type. But I just think 
they look a lot prettier, personally. But yeah, hey ho. Uh, tires, not bad. No branding on tires, which I, I never understand why they don't do this. Um, so again, real shame. Bit of damage in the tire there as well. And there's a flat spot on top of the tire where apparently it's needed to get it in the arches. Um, because otherwise it doesn't fit, apparently. Luckily it's covered. So, yeah, probably a bit of an afterthought when they were making the kit. There we go. So that's that. Last big bag of stuff. And we've got some smaller ones to go through. So these are all the rear spoiler. Hopefully not warped like the 911 one is. Oh, it is. Oh, uh, maybe not. Right, we've got the side pieces, which will click in place. They're like that. This thing is absolutely nuts looking. Really is a mental looking car. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. So there's one of those. There's the other one. There's our spoiler. There's a little uh, side piece as well. There's the roof, which doesn't fit great. I've had this on. And the fit wasn't... Fantastic. So, the locating points. There's holes for it. That might be the problem. Ah, there we go. So, that fits a little bit better. Um, doesn't fit very flush at the back. Now, I'll be honest, I prefer it without the roof on anyway, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Got some side skirts. We've got headlights, we've got more of these things, loads of little bits. I've been through and checked all the parts off, so I know they're all here. Wing mirrors are there as well, typical Lamborghini style wing mirrors. So they're looking good as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of parts. It's a complex build. It's going to take some thinking outside the box how to paint, assemble, uh, and what order to do things because I think there's a bit of carbon on this as well. Uh, oh, we've got another broken bit there. What's that off? No idea, but we'll put it in there. Hopefully, it's not something that's just broken off there. Got another little bag here of final little bits. Like I say, you, you do get a lot for your money. So, there's the instrument binnacle for the dashboard. It's looking good. We've got a steering wheel, steering column with some flimsy stalks on there, which I always break off. We've got some headlight and trim details there as well. Nice. Uh, interior mirror, some grills kind of thing there. Cool. Center console with a nice bit of detail on it. As you can see there. And. The broken headrest off that back seat, which was still missing the side bits, which aren't in the kit at all. So, yeah, we, uh, we're we not looking bad. The resin's not too bad at all, apart from the broken A-pill, which is really disappointing. Like I say, I'm lucky enough that I didn't pay for this. If I had, I wouldn't be very impressed, I don't think. Um, at this price point, nothing should arrive broken. Um, but it just seems to be the acceptable way nowadays. There's the seats. Thankfully, all in one piece. Quite nice seats. Yeah, quite nice. And the side skirt pieces I was missing, which go just there at the front. So, yeah, I was missing those bits. But, thankfully, we've got them now. So, that's it. So, can't fault the customer service. They had it out with, to me. I think it was less than a week. Um, which is good going from China. So, we'll pop that. There, out of the way. We'll pop all these bits out the back and we'll have a look what we've got in here. So we'll go through the P first. And again, big bag of photo etch. Our windows are in here as well. Right, so first off, we get the obligatory build plate. It's actually a really nice one with this. It's quite cool, isn't it? Yep, I like that one. Really thick piece of photo etch. We've got um, window surrounds. 
look at the wheel centers some speaker grills on there we've got grills uh instrument binnacle surrounds center console controls loads of grills window wipers accelerator pedals so on and so forth on that really nice high quality photo etch on this one we've got grills brake calipers sorry brake discs center hubs number plates uh, seat belts uh, floor mats really really nice we've got some headlight detail you can see there all the inserts for the headlights uh, the mirror inserts and the engine bay v12 logo there as well very nice and the windows which i had a few problems on my bmw they were a bit haze so it'd be interesting to see how these go um whether we're going to do it with the window up or down hmm i don't know we'll have to have a look at that one because obviously yeah might look good up thinking about it we've got the engine bay blank there as well so yeah did look all right the photo is really good quality like I say, you get a lot in this kit for your money. Um, I think the retail on these is about 180. If that's delivered, I think, to the UK. Um, I don't think there's a UK reseller yet. Um, in there. But yeah, some nice photo etch in there. There's more photo etch in the other bag as well. And some more decals as well. As the full size decal sheet too. So you can get this off. Now there's a plethora of schemes on this car. There is loads. So there's loads of decals in this thing. We'll just deal with these little sheets here first. Get them out of the way. So we've got. Let's have a look. What on earth are these things? They look like. Pub detail for the brakes, I'd say. But there was another set in there before, so I'm not sure what that's about. We've got metal stickers, Lamborghini, mirror inserts, the engine bay cover thing there as well. We've got some nice metallic Lamborghini badges for the wheels and the bonnet and car and what have you. They are really nice. And we've got more mirror inserts, Lamborghini logos for the engine bay really cool so yeah they're good to get always a nice little extra they do add another level to the kit when you're building them and then we've got decals so we've got four sheets of decals in this so number one there's a giant carbon sheet as you can see here all pre-cut so that's going to keep you busy for a while nice high quality carbon decal very very nice so that's a real nice touch to get Next up, we've got all the interior bits and bobs. So there's more carbon for the interior, and then there's all the trim, different colors for the interior. So these will be for the seats. So you need to pick which one you're going to do, and this is all the trim to correspond with it and go with it. So very, very nice. Designed and printed in China. The decals are really, really good quality. Then we've got the first lot of decals. So you've got Liberty Walk carbon rear spoiler, some fancy decals for the exterior, all the instruments, uh, look at that, the instrument display is very cool, Liberty Walk, brake caliper logos, loads of them, look at these, all different colours, a lot of choice there, really good, the decals look like really good quality, sponsor markings, tyre markings, there you go, that might be why there's no tyres in there, uh, tyre markings in there, number plates, so on. And then one of the coolest sheets is this, which has got the martini and the golf scheme on it, which is very, very cool. So we've got more trim detail there, and then we've got golf racing and martini. A tough choice out both of those. It really is. And I've got no idea what scheme I'm going to do on this yet myself, so it'll definitely be interesting to see. So that's it. That's everything in the box that way. There's a little bag of extra goodies just hiding over here i very very nearly missed i'm just gonna try and pop these in here which doesn't always work as the sticky part of the back of these bags normally plays havoc besides to grab a hold of everything and you end up ripping the bag trying to get everything back in which is exactly what you're trying to do but ah ha ha 
I have beat you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the fight, but you have been battered. Right, one last little bag. So there's loads of screws in here. There's some seatbelt material. And what have you? Wow, there's loads of bits. So we've got black seatbelt material, obviously for black seatbelts. We've got some exhaust bits. So we've got some turned tube in there, which I'm assuming is for exhaust. So I'm going to put these back in as we go. There is also screws. Lots and lots of screws. We've got some tyre valves there, which is good. There's a spring. There's another spring. There's a tyre valve there. Not a tiny one. I'll give it a show, but I don't want to lose these. And there's the other three, so let's get those all in there we can. There's also little tiny... Ooh, like shiny, reflective photo etch with like a crystal in the middle. Must be for the headlights. That's very cool. And some weird bezel-y washer things. So again, make sure you don't lose any of these bits. I just ditched it out on the bench like an idiot. There we go. Right there. I think that is all the bits. So what we'll do now is we'll go over to my MacBook and we'll have a look at the online instructions right okay so the instructions then uh as i say no paper instructions with my kit it's a pre-release beta copy so i didn't get any but here's the online copy that i've been sent uh as you can see we've got all the parts count here so everything was checked off on here i actually printed off the decals uh they were very high resolution uh because they were lifted from facebook uh but more than adequate for me to check all the parts obviously you can see the number of parts there is a lot in this kit it is a very par heavy kit so definitely value for money lots and lots of fiddly bits in here so take your time all your p's listed here all the decals and the symbols explanation is here as well so nice clear decals nice clear photographs um there's our schemes that come with the kit the box art the golf uh 10 years anniversary the tokyo auto saloon 2020 show car and the martini concept library as well and then here we go we've got assembly so i quite like these instructions you've got orange for resin pink uh, purple for pe green for decals and metal uh number marks for metal and other parts and number marks for pre-cut windows so i do like this kind of key so you can look and go oh it's resin part number 56 or it's photo etch part sorry uh, decal metal sticker t3 so i do like this the springs ah oh, okay real springs for suspension that's quite good i like that okay that's a good touch. That's what they were for. Like I say, quite clear instructions. I do like these. Um, still not as clear as they could be, but they are quite nice instructions. There's the engine they built up, the cross member uh, of the engine strengthening bar, the grill going in place, interior assembly. Uh, I think it's going to build up into a nice kit. As long as everything fits together, I think it'll build up into a really pretty looking kit. It's going to have a great interior of all these accent decals that are on the dashboard and what have you. It is going to look really, really cool. It's definitely going to be an out there car. And there's all the decals on the seats, the interior going together, those lovely floor mats. The two sets of wheels, uh, as it says here, align this to the fender. So this flat spot goes at the top. Then you've got your assembly of all the uh, fins and skirts and arches and what have you. Photo etch, the rear diffuser. Uh, obviously, this is the carbon. So the carbon is marked with C28. So it's quite clear. You've got discs and calipers there as well. Uh, front splitter going in place, all the grills, all oh, look at the white detail of the PE. That's going to keep you busy for a while. Uh, we've got the front uh, and rear hub assembly. So where was the where was the front one then? Oh, I see that slot in there. I got you now. Okay. I uh, got the rear diffuser being screwed in place. Uh, the side piece is going on. Rear diffuser, these little winglets, the exhaust, the mirrors. Very busy. And then finally, the scheme. So here's it built up. It's an absolutely mental looking car. It really is. Uh, you got window wiper assembly, which is, yeah, actually quite good. So it actually shows the profile of the wiper on this, which is actually quite a nice touch, to be fair. Uh, you can see just how crazy looking machine this is. It is mad. There's the Blue Liberty Walk scheme, the yellow, uh, the Gulf scheme, which is just an iconic scheme. Um, the Liberty Walk one. And the awesome white martini scheme. I've already done the golf scheme on a Lamborghini before. 
So if I was going to do one, it'd probably be the martini. So there we go. There's our instructions. Let's go back to maybe some final thoughts. Right then. So there we go. So the nitty gritty. Um, my completely honest point about the kit. The kit looks really good. It's very complex. So it's going to be a tricky build. It's definitely not a kit for a first time build. This is for an experienced modeler. Uh, preferably someone who's built a few of these resin kits before from different manufacturers. Um, there's too much stuff in the box. There's way too many parts in that box. It needs to be packed in a bigger box with a bit more packaging to protect some of the parts. Um, and that A-frame windscreen mount needs another resin mount at the top to protect it and stop it snapping. Now, the biggest concern for me is if I'd have bought this kit, I would not have been happy at all. Okay, I got replacement parts and the missing parts replaced. That's great. Good customer service there. But to have the broken A-frame and be told there's no replacement bodies, I have to fix it. In my opinion, it's not the best. If I paid nearly £200 for this kit, it should be perfect. It should be perfectly packed, perfectly presented, so on and so forth. So that is my honest opinion there. These expensive kits shouldn't come damaged. It's inexcusable. And I get kits from Alpha Models that are damaged. Uh, can't get any replacement parts on Alpha Models at all. Zero. Uh, I had a damaged uh, body on my USCP BMW M5. Contacted Misha. Sent me out a new body. Uh, it's not perfect. It's better than my old one. And contacted Kitbox and got the replacement parts. So at least there's some customer service, which is good. Uh, but it shouldn't be broken or missing in the first place. I know mistakes happen. It always does with any company. And it's a customer service that shines through, which with Kitbox, I can't fault them at all there. So there we go. Overall, the kit looks good. It's very busy. Very high quality resin. The decal sheets are mental. You've got loads of choice on the libraries on the car to do there. And that's really, really cool. I am completely stuck what to do. I'm not doing the golf one. I've done the golf one before. It's it's in there somewhere. Um, yeah, so I've already done the golf scheme. So I don't want to do that again. So the Martini one's looking good. But I think it's a bit boring in white. I think a car like this should be just a crazy out there colour. So yeah, when it comes to build it, hopefully this year. That's the plan anyway. Uh, we'll pick something really out there for you. And make it a really interesting project. Great decal sheets for the carbon as well. All the interior seat trim colours as well. Absolutely awesome to do. Um, and nice to get a choice of wheels as well. And great PE and uh, uh, badges, all the metal badges and stickers for the car. Superb. Definitely um, a kit worth buying for money for value, I think. I think out of all the resin kits, there's a lot in that box to make it worthwhile buying. So my advice if you've got this kit is, A, go through the box and make sure all your parts are there and make sure nothing's broken. And now's your time to contact uh, PZY and get the missing parts. Don't come to it a year later. Open the box and there's missing bits because you'll probably never get them again. They are short run kits, these. Once they're made, that tends to be it. You never see them again. So if you've got one of these kits, go through the box and check it out. So I'd like to thank Kitbox very much for the free sample. Thank you, guys. Uh, it does look a good kit and I will enjoy building it at some point. And thank you for the good customer service and replacing the broken and missing parts as well. And there we go, another review done. So thanks for watching. As always, you want to become a patron. You can help support these videos. Uh, you get early access to all the videos, a uh, month early access, a Saturday exclusive bench update every single week. Uh, you get access to an exclusive Patreon messenger chat group. There's like 70 of us in there. Good little community we've got in there. You can just chat away by Facebook Messenger. Uh, and there's other perks associated with becoming a patron. And you keep these videos going. Without your support, I couldn't keep doing these. Um, so yeah, it means a lot to me and obviously check out the rest of the links in the channel down below the patreon links down there There's links to everything else down there associated with me pro scale painters here You can come over to us and get all your car modeling paints from us Uh, there's links to ism facebook ump. There's all sorts of links down there And of course make sure you sub to the channel click the bell notification Give that video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you wish and leave a comment. Have you got the kit? Uh, are you thinking about getting it? Uh, what do you think about you for money-wise? What's your opinion on the kit? What you've seen from my review? Um, yeah, let me know. There we go. So, as always, thank you to all my wonderful patrons. Your name's going to flash up at the end of this video. And I hope you all have a great day. Catch you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.